Oh, uh, I'm Lori Koster, my husband Don. We're co-owners of the Evening News, and I also do the booking. And somewhere along the way, I saw that viral video that went around and fell in love with you guys and tried getting in touch with the agent to see if you wanted to come. And one thing led to another, we got stepped, and here you are. And we're in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's right. Are you? So, um, you you call this place the Rock and Roll Hotel. Can you tell us why that is and what was the inspiration for opening up your home to traveling musicians like that? Well, we've always been big music fans from the get-go and going to the Indie News a lot, we've got to be friends with a lot of people. We've seen them a lot of times. And <clears throat> there was one guy, um, I can't remember his name, but he needed a place to stay. He couldn't drive, so. <laughs> We said, well, come on and hang out, and it was really nice. And there was another band that we loved uh, called San Domingo from Atlanta that we would go see all the time. And we said, you guys should just, instead of driving back, stay with us. And they did, and we just loved the whole atmosphere and, and the energy and the vibe and learning about bands on the road and what everybody goes through. And, you know, our heart just went out to them. And plus, their musicians are some of the kindest people that we've ever met and smart, too, and, you know, knowledgeable on worldly matters and we meet people from all around the world too which is very cool so i guess we've been doing it about nine years and we started in yeah, nine, yeah, nine, 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 nine years. yeah that's crazy okay there's another question that we're asking everybody which is uh lose your ties yeah that's the theme of our album right that's kind of the theme of uh, yeah i told you a bit about the background and so the question is what does that theme mean to you Lose your tie just sounds like uh, take off the facade, you know, relax, let your hair down, uh, open up to new experiences, new things, get out of your comfort zone. What's it like? Yeah, no more corporate America. <laughs> that too, Live yeah. Live original music. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's needed. That's something I think that's really cool is that we've met now a, a handful of artists who have already we found out we have friends in common yeah and I think that's just a testament to like a lot of the artists that we kind of run with and that we know that are doing it independently you you get to meet each other because you find people that are like you you guys are the independent music curators of Charlotte obviously now I'm seeing that immediately that you know everyone that we know that's that kind of independent self run they already seem to know who you are and you are you know connecting them with everyone else and you can find that there are people like that scattered all over the country and the world so much interconnectivity and yeah. I think yeah. that's so cool that you know that that it was just like sitting down and we have mutual friends the sun pilots and and a few others that it seems like and new met friends that we were introducing you to yeah yeah exactly yeah, exactly just in new york the other day the, the <laughs> band that was crossing paths with us we saw so <laughs> that's, that's so cool so what does the album title mean to you where does that originate from uh it's originates from the i mean there's a literal and a figurative meaning and the figurative is like removing the thing that you feel is holding you back from what you want so mm. actually untying yourself from the, the, the whether it be self-created or a real uh, sort of semi-truck, if you will. That's, yeah. you know, when you're, when you're running and you feel like you're pulling something behind you, it's the, you know, for me it was a, I think it was two things. It was fear of the unknown and it was my, the, the career, the corporate career that I had. You know, untethering. Saying, I got to untether those things and just kind of go with it and see where it takes me. And the literal thing for me was actually a necktie. Mm -hmm, I wore a mm -hmm. necktie every day when I was working, and so to to throw that tie away. Yeah, I worked in an office for like 20 years before I was doing all this See, stuff. See, that's too, crazy. So. Yeah, and what's cool is which you I take, loved. You, you know? take those skills though. Yeah, like I see yes. it. Like you've taken the skills. That Organizational, you had. systematic. Precisely. Yeah, you've got it. You know what I mean? And then you just kind of make it work for you. I think that's awesome. Yeah, that's we have awesome. a lot of fun. Same with you, Don. Hey, Thanks. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really glad to have you guys here and looking forward to a great show yeah. tonight. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Going to be awesome. Yeah, we've had nothing but fun. <laughs>